This video is on compound probability and Venn diagrams. Compound probability is a probability involving two or more events. For example, the probability of event A and event B happening. When you're dealing with event A and event B, this is when we're talking about the intersection. So in intro to probability, we talked about one event happening. We wanted to pull out one marble, one green, or one yellow marble. Now we want to talk about two different events. Basically, we could ask ourselves, how can we pull out one blue marble and one green marble? But that means that you have to actually pull out two different marbles. If we're going to pull out just one marble, we cannot pull out a blue and a green. But if we pull out two marbles, we can, we can pull out a blue and a green. So we have to make sure that we understand how many events are actually happening. So we're, this first part is just explaining how to determine what to do. So what's the probability of flipping a coin twice and having it come up heads both times? So we actually have two events. We're going to flip a coin and then flip a, no, a coin again. So that's two events happening. We're going to have it come up heads both times. The first thing we want to understand is what is the probability of it just coming up heads? So in order for it to come up heads, there is only one way that a coin can come up heads. Out of there are only two possible way, things that a coin can come up. It can come up heads or tails. So we would have one out of two. The probability that a coin will be heads would be one out of two. And we, will, we can write this as a decimal, but right now let's just keep it as a fraction. So now that we understand what the probability of just coming up heads is, we want the probability that the first flip will come up heads and the second flip come up heads. So if we write this out, we want the probability that the first comes up heads. So we want the probability of heads. That's our first event. This is our first event. And, now the symbol for and is the intersection, so it's the in, intersection. But then we just, we focus on what's the probability that the flip will come up heads. So we just focus on this event now. So what's the probability it will come up heads? So we write out the probability of we want heads again. Now this is actually our second event. Now we can write out the probabilities of them happening. Probability of heads, we already had that, was 1 out of 2. On the second event, the probability of heads, again, was only just 1 out of 2. But what do we do with these? Let's actually determine what, what the outcomes are, how many outcomes there are total in our actual events. So we want two coins, and what are the possible outcomes? We can flip a coin two times and we get a heads and then we might get a tails. But if we start over, we flip the coin, we get a heads, and then we flip it again, we could get a heads again. Because if we got a tails, I would have written it here again. However, the, if we start over, the first flip could have been a tails, and then the second flip could have been a heads. If we start over, the first flip could have been a tails, but then the second flip could also have been a tails. Now there are no other possible outcomes here because we've written out all the ways that we can have heads first. We've written out all the ways we can have tails first. What that means is that there are four possible ways of this happening. Four possible. But we want heads and heads. So we want heads twice. So we don't want this one. We do want this one because it's heads twice. We don't want any of the other ones. So there's only one way of the four possibilities. So we know it's one out of four. Well, how do we get half and half to give us a one-fourth? You multiply. The and means you multiply. So one-half times one-half is equal to one-fourth. This is called the multiplication rule. So the multiplication rule states that when calculating the probability of two events, event A and 
event B. So we have two different events. Two events. Event A and event B. If the events are independent, then the probability of both events happening is P of A times P of B. What this means to be independent is that the first event will not affect the probability of the second event. Flipping a coin, if I flip a hedge the first time, that will not change my possibility or my probability of getting the, the hedge the next time. If I pull out a card, if I pull out a card from a deck of cards and I do not put it back, my second probability has changed because now I have less cards. So that would be dependent. So independent means that the probability for the first one and the second one can just be written separate and they don't affect each other. If they are dependent, the second event will either have a smaller or a higher probability of it happening because the values have changed.